Hello, and welcome to another day of Living with Spina Bifida. Today is Mental Health Monday. Today we are going to be talking about Seasonal Affective Disorder, or Seasonal Depression. Seasonal Affective Disorder is a type of depression that tends to occur and recur as the days grow shorter in the fall and winter. It is believed that affected people react adversely to the decreasing amounts of sunlight and the colder temperatures as the fall and winter progress. It is important to note that although seasonal affective disorder usually presents itself in the fall and winter, there are those who suffer from this condition during the summer instead of or in addition to during the winter and fall season. Although there is no specific diagnostic test for the illness, it is understood that symptoms of seasonal affective disorder include tiredness, fatigue, depression, crying spells, irritability, trouble concentrating, body aches, loss of sex drive, poor sleep, and overeating, especially of carbohydrates with associated weight gain. When the condition presents itself in the summer, the symptoms are more commonly insomnia, poor appetite, and weight loss in addition to irritability, difficulty concentrating, and crying spells. In severe instances, seasonal affective disorder can be associated with suicidal thoughts. The symptoms of seasonal affective disorder typically tend to begin in the fall each year, lasting until spring. The symptoms are most intense during the darkest months. Therefore, the more common months of symptoms will vary depending on how far away from the equator one lives. Seasonal affective disorder seems to develop from inadequate bright light during the winter months. Researchers have found that bright light changes the chemicals in the brain. While these specific mechanisms remain undetermined, factors like low vitamin D levels in the blood are found to be associated with a higher occurrence of seasonal affective disorder and some other depressive disorders. In addition to being key in the prevention of seasonal affective disorder, regular exposure to light that is bright, particularly fluorescent lights, significantly improves suppression in people with this disorder when it presents during the fall and winter. The light treatment is used daily in the morning and evening for best result. Temporarily changing locations to a climate that is characterized by bright light such as the Caribbean can achieve similar results. So there is a big reason as to why a lot of people have vacation homes and they go to a warmer place during the winter months. Light treatment has also been called phototherapy. Individuals who suffer from seasonal affective disorder will also likely benefit from increased social support during vulnerable times of the year. Phototherapy is commercially available in the form of light boxes, which are used approximately for 30 minutes daily. The light required must be of sufficient brightness, approximately 25 times as bright as a normal living room light. Contrary to prior theories, the light does not need to be of natural sunlight. It seems that it is quantity and not necessarily quality of light that matters in the light therapy of seasonal affective disorder. The most common possible side effects associated with phototherapy include irritability, insomnia, headaches, and eye strain. Antidepressant medications, particularly those from the serotonin selective butate inhibitor family have been found to be an effective treatment for seasonal affective disorder. As with any other mood disorder, psychotherapy tends to accentuate the effectiveness of medical treatment and therefore should be included in the approach to addressing this disorder. In individuals who are perhaps vulnerable to the development of bipolar disorder, either light therapy or antidepressant medication can cause 
a manic episode as a side effect. Even if the winter light is weak, some experts believe that taking a morning or noontime walk can go a long way toward alleviating symptoms. So if it is at all possible for you to take an outdoor walk during these winter months, it is probably a great idea. I'm always suggesting going for walks because it is helpful for all sorts of things, your mental health and your physical health. And obviously, as I have spoken about in the past, try to limit those tasty treats and extra goodies that you would be splurging on during these holiday seasons with all of the get-togethers and parties that are happening between these months. And lastly, I hope if you are having issues with depression, anxiety, or any sort of problem, I hope that you have someone in your life that you can go to and you can trust that you can talk about your issues with. Even if they're not even seemingly big issues, if you're just having a down day, everyone's feelings are completely valid and everyone has a right to feel down, to have a bad day, to have a bad week, to have a bad month, to have a bad year. No one's life is a contest. No one's life sucks more than the other one. We all struggle. We all have our problems. But just because we all have our problems doesn't mean we can't help get each other through these hard times.